AnyTube is going to farm Aliens Area heavy for content. I haven't seen something this ripe for exploitation since my last visit to Crazy Horse. Aliens Area by Fusai Naba is a new sci-fi series running in Shonen Jump. It started around the same time as Ruri Dragon. Unlike Ruri, however, AA already knows what it wants to be. And in only six chapters, Naba has created a manga that's not only piqued my interest, but promises to be a solid and well thought out story. Tatsumi Tatsunami is a, you guessed it, high schooler who's too cool for school. He works multiple part-time jobs to help support himself and his two younger siblings. Years ago, there was a fire that took out their parents, but since then, he's been able to regenerate almost instantaneously from injuries, save for the scar on his forehead, of course. His right hand, however, has been weakening in strength lately, and it's a health concern that's significant enough to impact his ability to earn for his family. When he encounters some rogue aliens at his apartment, his hand reacts to their disturbance and changes shape to attack the intruders. Hajime Shiraku, an investigator for Section 5, basically an MIB ripoff, comes to his aid and offers Tatsu a job, and the reader, a lot of exposition. The following chapters are a quick rundown of what the aliens of this world are, their intentions on Earth, and introduces a bit of the organization and tech that the inspectors use. This manga has a setup that's eerily similar to Kaiju No. 8 and Chainsaw Man, but this is a Shueisha series, so I'm not really that surprised. And it does have a slight twist on it with the strong work aspect that's sprinkled throughout the early chapters. Tatsu has no plans of going to post-secondary school, but with that choice, he worries about his career options and having a good work-life balance. He's saving up his money to send his siblings to college. He's very focused on bettering their lives. The aliens as well have quotas and they themselves care about their reputation. There's also hints to intergalactic political unrest. A whole bunch of cool stuff. I will point out, however, that organizations recruiting the MC is so fucking stale. It's overdone. It's lame. I'm sick of it. But fortunately, Alien Area doesn't dwell on the trope for very long. The alien designs, though, suck. This is the same problem I had with Red Hood, Doran Doran, and plenty others. It's obvious that Shonen Jump is trying to get young artists for cheap, because that's just how businesses like this operate. Weekly Shonen Jump is a pip factory. Regardless, why do you hire artists with such limited ability? Honestly, Naba's pen isn't bad, but it's very underdeveloped. He knows how to draw pivotal characters well, but supporting characters? Or backgrounds? Villain design? It's all stock image quality, and I hope this is just some early chapter pains and not part of his typical art style. Also, I noticed a plot hole bigger than what you'll see when you're driving down Midland, but I do think it's just something that has yet to be revealed or clarified. However, if Undead Unluck taught me anything, it's that you don't stick on these mistakes for long, cause it can very well be intended for a later reveal. But then again, this could easily be a throw everything at the wall, see what sticks tactic that many young manga could do. I don't know. Too soon to tell. But hey, I'm not going to sit here and speculate on a weekly shonen series because I have too much self-respect. Instead, I'm going to recommend Alien Area to you because it's a solid new manga. So far, there hasn't been a letdown chapter. And while I'm not the biggest fan of the character design, especially the aliens we've seen thus far, I can't pass judgment on it so soon just because of that. The aesthetic is cool enough, and I think this one is gonna last. I'm giving Alien Area a 6 out of 10.